In the Democratic Republic of Congo sits Virunga, Africa's oldest national park. Virunga is also the title of a dramatic demo, uh, documentary expose about the people who devote themselves to protecting this world heritage site and home to the endangered mountain gorilla. VOA's Caroline Turner has the story. Virunga is the true story of passionate people who risk their lives to protect the natural habitat for the critically endangered mountain gorilla in the DRC, a part of Africa that the world's forgotten. Throughout the world, it is only in this area that you can still find mountain gorillas. There are only about 800 left in the whole world. Now, if we lose them, we will have lost something very important for humanity. The film follows a conservationist who considers his orphaned gorillas to be family. I always tell them, I have a family. I always tell them, you are my family. But we have another family in Rumangambo, which is made up of four children. Filmmaker Orlando von Einseidel says he wanted to make a positive film about Eastern Congo and the rangers who have hope for their country. What's happening in this park, it's not just about protecting an area that, which is really important for Eastern Congo. This is also a situation which, which everyone in the world should be very aware of and worried about. The Virunga Park is a contested battleground with insurgencies seeking to topple the government and exploit natural resources for profit. The story follows a French journalist and a park ranger. The oil issue might destroy everything. If we fail, we'll lose Virunga, but we'll also lose the other parks in Congo. All I know is that oil exploitation is not compatible with conservation. I'm not saying that because I'm a ranger. It's the law that says this. They set out to document corporate efforts to exploit oil, which is illegal under Congolese and international law. Now we can see the value of that park, park mining-wise. With the intelligence, it's crazy the money you could pull out. It's colossal. Now what they defend, I'm not sure it's about animals. Besides oil exploitation, there are poachers, armed militias, and human rights abuse. About the, the fighting, we are hearing so many bombs, many, many, many bombs. What the films managed to do is really magnified their voices and it's, it's really put a media spotlight on exactly what's going on. So, so now, whenever anyone gets death threats for opposing oil, everybody knows about it. When a newly formed M23 rebel group declares war, there's a new threat. The villagers are about to start leaving. We're going to stay here. I just wanted to know about food for the gorillas. How many days left do we have? About two. The M23 rebels are in Rabare. If they cut off Moara, we'll have to cope with whatever we have. They are advancing. They're nearly at Kalangara. We've got to hurry. The filmmaker says the situation is stable today. I would urge all your viewers to go and visit Virunga and go and see the gorillas because that's one way that you can really, as an individual, really, you know, contribute positively to the park. Virunga is a visually stunning film with a dramatic narrative that is a worldwide call to action to save the habitat and gorillas from the political and environmental crisis in the Congo. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Well, that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC and in the mornings. Today, break Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching from all of us in Washington. Have a good night.